Does it seem like your online information is just not safe anywhere these days? With a new report of a massive data breach of customer information at Under Armour, we understand if you're concerned or even panicked. It's Friday, March 30th, and the fitness wear and shoemaker says 150 million user accounts tied to the MyFitnessPal app were nicked, but no financial information like credit card numbers were compromised. However, usernames, email addies, and hashed password information was breached. So if you're using the app, get in there and change those passwords. While hashed passwords do make it tougher for hackers to decipher logins, it can be done. So just expect they're going to try to bust the lock on your password and try to access other accounts linked to your email. So again, change your password, maybe even reshuffle other passwords you use as well, just to be safe. And really, you should change them up at least once a year. Hit the link for more information on the Under Armour hack. We're all awash in March Madness here at DT, and while some of us may be keeping track of the games in a corner of our monitor, the real March Madness is happening at car shows this month. The Big Geneva show took place recently, and now the New York show is wrapping up. Several car-obsessed DT staffers have been making the rounds, and we've got a whole list of the best wheels from each show. In New York, we were impressed with several for real models, including the 444 horsepower Audi RS5, which seats four in comfort, and hey, we even like that green color scheme. Need more power? Look no further than Cadillac's new CT6, a twin turbo land missile with 550 ponies under the hood. And we didn't forget electric cars, especially the stunning Hyundai Genesis Essentia concept car, which looks like a cross between a Tesla, a Maybach, a Koenigsegg, a Lamborghini, and a character from a Cars movie. It probably even talks. Check out all the DT car show coverage and videos at the link. 4K video cameras are so common now, most smartphones have them. So what's next? 6K, 8K, how about 120K? Canon USA just published a video showing off the capabilities of an ultra, ultra, ultra high resolution imaging chip packing 122 million pixels. But sadly, it's not gonna show up in the next EOS DSLR. It's still experimental, but as you can see from the video, it has crazy imaging abilities far beyond HD or 4K. So what is it good for? As you can see in this video segment, it's a pretty good fit for security systems at large events, allowing police and others to zoom in on a crowd of people with astonishing clarity. And if you're into macro photography, it can enable clear magnification of objects at very high resolutions, and not just for stills. It obviously works great for video too. Again, it's not headed for a consumer camera just yet, but seeing how competitive the photography business is, we'd be surprised if it didn't turn up in a pro-level camera in the next few years. Hit the link for more details and then head on over to digitaltrends.com for the rest of the day's tech news. Check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel and tune in live at 2 p.m. today for our entertainment podcast, Between the Streams. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.